will leave the gates an even money favourite. Brother Paddy is in. Runner up in the recent Coolgardie Cup. They're off and they're racing. Well, Catalpa was the first of them to go. Cheerful moment, though, is starting to work forward and will look for the front. Coming over Lone Hand Larry and also rushing forward Great Fortune in behind those position of power. Just wanting to throw the head around a little as he tries to steady down. Back on the inside, Pretty Fryer. Vital Flirt goes back and so does Try For Us and snag back toward the tail by Carbria's brother Paddy. And so as they work along the back and Cheerful Moment took up the role of pacemaker for Smokin' Joe and leads the way by a length. Running second over on the outside, Great Fortune, and back on the rails is Catalpa third. It's going to follow cheerful moments. Every move in transit, Lone Hand Larry is fourth. A length and a half away at the 800, Pretty Fry, covered by position of power. The last trio, Brother Paddy, Vital Flirt, now relegated to last is Try For Us, who's spotting the pacemaker about seven lengths as they go down the side. Passing the 650, Cheerful moment by a length and a half. Great fortune, the grey. Back on the inside, Catalpa hasn't spent a dime in transit. Over on the outside, going forward, Lone Hand Larry ridden along. Then two lengths, Pretty Fryer who tracks the fave. They're followed by position of power. Then Vital Flirt, Brother Paddy well back and try for us. Cheerful moment led them at the 300. A length, Great Fortune getting up on the inside. Harvey found a bit of room with Catalpa. And they're being followed by position of power. Cheerful moment, Catalpa. And now position of power. It's position of power wide out. Catalpa down on the inside. Position of power and try for us coming through. Position of power, try for us diving. Position of power. Position of power, one and a head try for us from last. Catalpa probably third from cheerful moment. Then Lone Hand Larry and Brother Paddy in behind them. Pretty Fryer dropping off those. Great fortune. Beat one to the line. And that was Vital Flirt who rounds them all up. Position of power. Ran here last weekend, backs up on the seven days for the Dave Harrison stable and position of power coming from back in the field, winding up from last try for us, came charging through the middle of the line and back on the rails is Catalpa. Followed the pacemaker, it's every move in running and was run over the top of in the last 100, cheerful moment fourth in. But it's two position of power. A scandal keeper gilding out of Dane Kay that today racks up his eighth win from 39 starts. David Harrison prepares for B, J, Bell, B, Keefe, N, Shaw, Mrs. M, Shaw, G and R, Mills, Ms. S, Mitchell and G, Neal and handled by claiming apprentice Brandon Louie over three Try For Us, a vital equine mare from Try Try, owned by Jeff Durant, trained by Adam Durant, ridden by Clint Johnston Porter, Catalpa third by Rios, a four-year-old gelding out of Wild Rock, trained by Grant and Alana Williams for J. Martin, M. Bardsley, A. Miles, Ms. M. Caputi and J. Haynes, J. Turnock, B. Rouse, Dr. S. Boxley and also P. Cohen, the rider Paul Harvey. Two, three, four, seven, cheerful moment, fourth home. It was ahead and a half a length, the margins after the running of the fifth and the time, 138.62. Now they back ended that, the sectional 35.74. Good to have the timer going again here after a few little issues with the electronic timing mechanism from earlier today. We go to race six now, the Crown Perth handicap over 1,400 to ignite the quaddy. And uh, the rider here for Secret Statue is Clint Johnston Porter. There are no scratchings. Brittany joins us down in the winner's enclosure. Position of power coming from back in the field. So did the runner-up. Try for us here. And uh, they certainly had a big impact late in the race. A big turnaround on the seven days. And a, a brilliant performance today turns things around from last weekend. We know this horse featured heavily in the stewards report last week. David Harrison joins me today. We still saw him get his head up a little bit throughout running. He's a bit of a pest in that sort of way, but gets the chocolates today. Yes, no, he went, he went good. The, um, the kid held him, uh, rode him very well. He, um, first time he's been over a bit of over a mile, so he's um, just raced a bit fiercely. Yeah, good effort. And it sort of makes amends for the previous uh, race where you've gone down by the most narrow of margins. It stings a little bit. It does, yeah, because that would have been... Well, this, this was my 1,200th winner today, so um, that would have been that one last race. But uh, now I'm going to... Um, it's like to announce now that I'm going to retire at the end of the season now. All I want to do is get to 1,200 winners. So I'm just going to... Um, workers' comp's just killing me. So 30%. Um, they'll give you paying three or 400,000 wages. You've got to pay 120,000 workers' comp. So it's just... 
no business can survive like that. So if they, unless, they, unless the powers that be do something, then I'm retiring at the end of the year, so at the end of the uh, season. So we'll see you train on till July next year and then that's it for David Harrison. 1,200 winners. It's been a remarkable career. Yeah, that's it. Unless I do something about the workers' comp, because I mean, Sydney's on about 3%. Uh, we're on 30. I think Fred's on about 33, but, you know, some people are on 10 and 12, so they need to do something about it because uh, it's not sustainable for any business to be paying an extra hundred and something thousand workers comp. It's an extraordinary problem that we do have in the racing industry and invariably that's what happens when we race in such a risky business. What do you think can be done? Well, I'm not sure. I just got to look at uh, what's happened over east, I suppose, because everyone else is a lot lower than here in the main, in the main centres. So um, it's going to be uh, a lot of the workers now pulling the mental card and they're saying, well, we, we can't come back to work in case we hurt ourselves. So it's not people actually getting hurt. It's just the workers are... A lot of the workers are sort of... Um, uh, getting amongst themselves and, they're, and, they're, and, the, and the government or the powers that be don't know what to do so they just say well just pay them you know we don't know how to do this so you've got to pay them eight or nine hundred dollars or thousand dollars for um, 18 months you know like so it's not uh, they've, they've got us over the um, over the barrel and unless there's something done about it everyone will be on 30 percent and there'll be there'll be no trainers well, let's hope that that can be high on the agenda and uh, we can see you train on a, yet another year uh, well done on this winner thanks so there is David Harrison. Let's get over to Brandon Louie. Who's getting a bit of reward for hard work as well. Brandon Louie, tell us what, what this horse is like to ride. We saw him throwing his head around in the early stages. Yes, uh, so I've been riding the horse probably. I think I rode the horse two times. Uh, Mr. Harrison always said to me, try to roll forward because of his manners. And uh, anyway, today he's sort of changed the plan and he said, boy, I think today we just, we will have to hold him and try to settle him. Probably one pair of one pair back, uh, three pair back, or something like that, and we just go from there. And he just waits straight, and we just we see what what the horse got. And I think that was a really a tactic change today, but really was nice, and the pace was pretty genuine. But uh, he still sort of got that manners. You can't touch his mouth. When he touch his mouth, he just sort of overreact a bit. But no, he gave me a good good. Congratulations, well done. It's great to see you riding winners. Thank you very much, Scott. There is Brandon Louis. Good to see position of power in the winner's circle for David Harrison and a big declaration from him there in the post-race interview. Position of power wins the Amelia Park Handicap.